Good morning. Another misty morning here on the homestead. Hopefully it stops because we need to finish getting the roof on the off-grid workshop. We have four more sheets per side to do. We got rained out yesterday and then later in the afternoon last night, I was able to go up there and get the last rake on and get all of our purlins cut off. So this morning we are ready to get the flashing up and then the drip edge and then we can get the last eight sheets up. So Hopefully this little mist is only for a short time and then we can get up on that roof. I am looking forward to having it all dried in because the weather we've been having this year has not been very favorable for working outside. So to have a place to work inside is going to be nice. I'm seeing a little sliver of blue sky. I'm hoping that's heading our way and that this is gonna burn off Shortly, Ken and his crew will be here oh, about a half hour to an hour. So hopefully in that amount of time, it all clears off and the roof dries off because that's not gonna be fun. Come on in piggies, ready for some more eggs. So people say that pigs love milk too. Well, my experience with these guys is they don't care so much for the raw milk, which I think is kind of weird. They love eggs, but the milk, they will leave. The chickens love the milk. So that is good. I'm hoping that the pigs develop a taste for the raw milk so we can give them more and more of it to help them grow some good delicious meat for us. But right now we'll have to do it with the eggs. The blue sky is getting more over there. So I think the rain has stopped. Hopefully by the time Ken shows up, the roof is dry and we can start getting right to work. Dead battery. It shows two. Out of nails? No. I'm running Milwaukee right now. Right. Yeah, I took a lot of the movement out. Ken is working on the, the bracing for the trusses that will tie everything together and it'll tie this wall into that wall and just strengthen it all up. He got this piece tied in to this front gable wall and it made a big difference with this wall being able to move. So once you get this side done, it'll make a big difference. So now you're gonna need an eight footer or an inch and a half. It should be seven, ten and a half. Seven, ten and a half, all right. So in theory, this measurement should be right going by the width of the building and how we built everything. We shouldn't need a tape measure. If we it do, be I say if we do need a tape measure, it's not perfect, right Ken? Right. <laughs> <laughs> So that last two by six 
is an inch longer. So that means we gotta push this gable end wall out a little bit to straighten it all up. Let's see if it goes. Right there, nail it. You got it? You got it. I bet that really stiffened that wall up. Keep it moved. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. Getting close, a couple of more little pieces of drip edge going in. And it's been time for the last eight sheets of roofing. So far, no rain. Well, they're about to put the rest of the roof on. That's gonna be so awesome to have that done. It looks like the ridge cap is on where we have already started the roof. Well, I haven't started, but they have. This is good. The roof is gonna be done. All right, time to get this side roofed. The bugs are dead. Bugs are out. The bugs are out. Are you excited that the roof is yeah, almost up? I am. Yeah. We got two more on this side and then four Actually, on the next. I'm sorry, 72 meters. His hat's on backwards. Yeah. That means business. Because yeah. I think I want to go out there. So we tried to plan it so we didn't have to cut the roof sheathing. And I'm thinking we're gonna be spot on and the last piece is going to be a full sheet and we'll stick over like a rib or a half a rib and that's what we were going for. So that's gonna be nice. All right, so we got 38 for the whole sheet and we need at least 36. So that'll be perfect. We'll be hanging over. Yeah, we'll be hanging over a whole rib. That'll work out nice. Put a little three of my twitter. We're 
overhanging a whole rib. I like it. Last night I was doing something and I'm like, perfect. I'm like, oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Catches on, doesn't it? Kinda I like, like it. Perfect. Right. But I said it just like that same tone and everything. I'm like, I didn't even do it on purpose. I was by myself too. It was funny. Mm -hmm. so we were planning our rakes, our fly raptors, whatever you'd like to call them. We we're trying to figure in what we would need for the whole length because the building's 40 feet. So we knew why would not be a full sheet work. So if it was 42 feet ish, that would make it so we didn't have to cut any of our metal roofing on the top. That's what we were going for and ended up working out perfectly. The real test now is if we end up the same on this side as the other side. Last sheet going up, and we're gonna be spot on like we were last time. Last sheet. They even line up. I like it. Took off some of the yellow paint from the Dewalt blade, but did a good job cutting him. You hear how long it took for that to drop? Mm -hmm. 18 feet. 20 feet. 20 oh, 22. 21 feet, 3 inches. So, yeah, well, he was 2 inches about it, so. <laughs> Just because it's harder. I like it. I heard that. So now that we got the roof on, it's a lot darker in here. <laughs> uh, getting there, it'll really darken up once we get the gable end walls enclosed. And it makes it look so much bigger. It does. I like it.
do you have? I have a DeWalt battery operated roofing gun. You <laughs> what are we doing without it? Would you want to try this? Just go through every single tool you own. I have a few. I kind of have an addiction. I usually buy one new one for every project. I think if Ken likes this nail gun, I know where he's going at lunch break. I said you like that nail gun, don't you? I do! Which is red. I know, me too, but men don't make one. All right, I want to come up here and mark two inches down from the corner, and then we're gonna snap a chalk line so we know where to put the bottom of these sheets. I like it. Yep. These are a lot easier than the roof panels. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we need to mark these for the angle of the roof. So if we go nine inches here, and then 25 and a half. What, was it 25 and a half? Yeah. I forget from out back to here. <laughs> I think you wrote it down. Yeah, 25 and a half. Time to get grinding and get noisy. First one. Exciting. On the back. Test piece. Down from there, I guess, or so. Okay, right there. <laughs> Oh, nice here. 
Perfect! Oh, perfect! Wow, that looks yeah. really good. Yeah, we'll do one more full one and then the next one would be the halfway mark. All right, so 85 and a half on the rib. 85 and a half on the rib. Plus 15 would be 100 and a half. I think we finally figured it out. That's Going up. Down a whisker. Yep. Okay. Look right on here. We are right on there. Wow. Would you look at that? Perfect. Chad and Dan were able to get the J channel up over here. That corner we were missing showed up. So Chad and Dan were able to get this corner on and then the two little slivers cut. They got all of the J channel and soffit material on. We're over halfway done. That is looking good. So on the front, we gotta do J channel soffit material. The other Eve, we gotta do J channel soffit material. Chad has cut a lot of the soffit material. So, we are in good shape. And then we can do the front wall right here. We wanna get the back all done and then we'll move the lift all around the front. And then we can do all of the J channels and the soft material on the front and then side it. So we're trying to make sure we get every area done before we have to move the lift around too much. That style lift is kind of a little bit of a pain because you gotta hook it up to the truck, drive it. So it takes extra time, so. I am happy, it looks really nice inside. All of the roof is done. And we just have this area on the back. I got our centerpiece all cut with the two different angles on it. That looks good. Ken and his crew have gone home for the day. So that's a two person job getting that sheet up. So I'm just gonna bring it inside so the wind doesn't whip it around. And then we'll finish that in the morning. This is where we're gonna end the video, I'm hoping. We don't get any rain because it'd be nice to get this all finished up tomorrow. We only have the lift for another day. So the goal is, is to get all the high stuff done. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us and our homestead. Hopefully we'll be finishing up the off-grid workshop soon. If you guys are liking this series, let me know. If you missed a bunch of the videos, go back. I am putting everything in a playlist and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.